this is how to create a family for a road marking we're going to use create a white line here and place it here later so let's go to new uh, sorry file new family we have to go to the family and here you need to go to the metric or english template you have to go to metric site select metric site click open now we're going to create our extruded line so we need to go and use the reference level as our point of uh, drawing so if you look at it it will be placed at that reference level so the, our face will be facing this surface so let's go to subject level let's say extrusion let's set the rectangle here i want a long the longitudinal rectangle so I need a dimension from here uh, just from here to here is about that. so let's create another let's undo that it's been quite a while since I prepared any so let's set it equal then we will set the dimension from here to here Select it here, set it as one document. Select it here, and click select and by right you should be okay. Let's delete this dimension. Now we're going to set this dimension to 500, so it will be 1 meter length. So it's 500 by 500. Let's set some dimension here. And here, let's set it as. Let's set this with here and let's set it as 75. Here we can also have the dimension. Select this side, click escape twice to exit dimension, click the line, and then click here and set it as 75. So now that is how to create this marking. Let's finish this. Click OK. Let's use a thickness of 1.6 mm. And then we need to set the material. Let's set it to paint. Okay, we're going to set the thing and then let's set this one duplicate so we still have the original but let's set it as yellow paint yellow but yellow here we're going to set this to yellow so do not check this box otherwise it will use this render appearance so let's check this as yellow so even in graphics and in the shaded and render, we will have a yellow color for this. Click apply, click OK. Now if you look at the 3D and shaded it, it's in yellow. So let's save this as funny. Let's go to desktop, which will replace it there. So let's place it right there. Mark it, let's go to mark it. Let's just set it as one. Ah, I forgot one settings that we need to change is make sure that this setting is always vertical is removed so we can place it on a vertical surface or an inclined surface. Okay. Five, okay. Now there's a tool here that it automatically loads this family into your projects. Uh, you have to open the project first before you can load, so let's load it with the project. 
So now you can see the family that we have created, it's created using old map. Here, because we're at level 1, and this uh, floor is at 550 high, so let's shift it back to See, let's set it to zero level first so we can place some of the lines or, or the marking. Click here, then click outside, and let's go back to the component or marking. Here we can insert the marking as you see as what we have done. If we need the space, then from there we can let's check this one. Let's copy this family. We can copy multiple with the same distance using the reference. We can also now copy by numbers, by three numbers. So let's see here. So it's much easier to place under the split tools at the arrow loop along the location. Once we come here, you will see the difference is that when we come here, it's still marking on the inclined plane, and you don't need to set the work that continuously apply to this surface. So let's copy again this, let's select this. Copy. Select and point. And the good thing about it is okay, we have placed it on the next point. Copy move forward, go to the next point and then set it. Okay. So we have to select it again. Let's set copy. Select from this point and select to this point. Something went wrong with our work. Still there, so let's go to our site plan. Level one, let's move this road back to the same position. Let's select it and pin it. And set it at 550. Then pin it again so we can select it. So here we the good thing about it is you can still place a component, you miss out on this. You can place it again. It still continues to mark in your preferred location without changing or setting any of the work preference. Here you can also place it on this selecting curve. You can rotate it later, let's just place it there so you can see the difference between the other methods of placing the open. Here we can select this to rotate, place it here, let's place the angle, let's rotate it a little bit. Okay. This one, see what can happen again. Okay, that marking is a little bit different. It's, it moved in its spot but suddenly disappeared. So, okay, if the rivet is visible, it looks like it. Then you can copy this. You cannot copy, you can move it. But with some restrictions, so you have to predefine the location of this uh, road marking using a fabric. So there, is, there are limitations, but this is the most easiest way to place it. No need to mark one by one. So this one, you just press the space bar, it's the vertical line. So let's move it. Horizontally, can move it. This one is can be moved horizontally. You can either here 
and then you can move it for yourself. So you cannot just press and drag it into your portal application. So that is how to create a road marking family and it's much more easier to place another method of applying road marking in Revit.